Hi guys, this is Troy from Australian Guitar Channel, and that is Vertigo by U2. Cracking tune and not a lot of uh, lessons for it on YouTube yet, which is great. So I thought I'd do this one. I love this song, and uh, there's a few sections in it, but it's not too bad. Um, I've used uh, the channel on my FM3 called Top Boost. That will give you the um, sound that you need. And uh, yeah, I uh, will do a couple more uh, U2 songs in the coming weeks. Uh, remarkably, YouTube is bereft of a lot of the good U2 stuff, so I'm going to uh, put my uh, put my hat in on this one. Uh, let me know what you think, and share, like, and subscribe to these videos, as always, and I will see you next week. Bye. All right, so Vertigo, here we go. We're going to start with a power chord, on the starting on the A string on the 5th fret, a D power chord, 5th, 7th frets on the A, D, and G, sliding up to the 7th. Alright, so let me play that again. So the fifth, third, and um, sorry, fifth, fourth, and third are um, four major bar chords. Alright, slide up from the fifth to the seventh, and then in my right hand, I'm doing all down strokes on that uh, power chord, fifth, fourth, third bit. And that is your main riff, alright? All right, now once that intro um, finishes, then you've got the uh, the riff stops, but of course the bass is playing the... All right, you can hear Adam Clayton underneath doing that. All right, at the start of the song, incidentally, you hear the edge doing those up, down, up strokes, muted, just muting the strings, up, down, up like that. All right, then we go straight into the chorus after doing that. When you hear the guitar come back in in the chorus, it's like this. All right, so it's just an E power chord, D power chord, down to a G, down to an A. Hello, hello. And a please come vertigo. Or right, just a bar on each. And then at the end of that, what it does, just this does it twice, then it goes back into the riff, basically. When you can hear the lyrics, I can feel. I can feel. So far, the form is intro, verse, chorus, and then it goes back into another verse again where the guitar cuts out and bass is playing that part. Now, halfway through the verse, you can hear, incidentally, the edge in the verses doing those muted hits. But then, uh, halfway through the verse, the edge comes back in. While that riff is playing on bass, edge does this. All right, that probably sounds familiar. It's on the 12th fret E and B strings. And then 10th and 12th, 10th on the E, 12th on the B. All right, twice on that lick. Once on that lick. All right, after that, it goes back into the chorus with just what we did before for the chorus. All right. All right, then, all right, after that second chorus, we have a kind of a, uh, a lead into a bridge section, which is like this, three times on G, D, A chord. One, two, three, four. All right, that's all it is. I'm hearing a little bit of phaser over the top of that. Uh, edge hitting a phaser pedal. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. All right, and then we go into a guitar solo, which is like this. All right, so what we want to do is we want to put the E on the pinky string. Uh, sorry, E on the pinky string. E on the 12th fret with our pinky. And then you're going to bar the 9th fret on the D, G, and B strings. And we're going to kind of start by hitting those top three strings. 
Town, town, town. All right. And then we're going to put our third finger on the 11th fret on the G string. Now, when I do that, I'm kind of hitting all four strings, all right? So I'm going one, two, three, like that. Then I put the third finger on. And then I chuck the second finger on the 10th fret of the B. Kind of three hits on each time, all right? And that's the riff, all right? Oh, no, that's the solo, if you want to call it that. All right, now, the next little section where you can hear Bono sing all of this, all of this can be yours, has a little guitar part underneath, which is like this. I'll turn the guitar down a little bit. So I'm hitting the open G string, and then I'm on the B string on the 17th fret, and the E string on the, on the 19th does that and then it goes flattens down that same finger on the B and E strings on the 7th fret and starts by hitting the open G so all right and again all right so listen to the song for this bit And then the last time he does it, he ends off with the first finger on the 15th fret. All right. And then after that, we go back into a chorus. All right. And that is basically kind of really the song. Just ends off with the chorus. Hello. And then goes into the last part of the chorus to finish the song. Really? And that is all the sections of the song. Now, incidentally, on my FM3, I'm using the patch top boost. It's at the start of the patches. All right. So if you want to get this sound, use that one. It's going to be pretty accurate to what the edge is doing. All right. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. I'll see you next week.